Brooklyn Black Hills. Aren't they gorgeous? We're doing the Cathedral Spire Trail here in Custer State Park. It's really beautiful. You have these like jagged rock cliff faces on one side as you walk through like forested trees on the other. Just really magnificent. Here in the Black Hills of South Dakota is Custer State Park, and it is really gorgeous. I yeah. actually think it's better than some national parks that we've been to. I would agree with that. Yeah, I mean, it has a lot of different parts to it. It has hikes, it has really good overlooks, driving trails, it has a wilderness loop where you see a ton of different animals, um, but the coolest part, at least from the direction that we were driving in, is right away when you come in, you have to drive through a really short and a really narrow tunnel. Yeah, it was tight. I put my mirrors in and, you know, I didn't even know that the tunnel was going to be there. Amanda saw this, was it, narrow low clearance sign that I totally missed driving. And I'm just trying to imagine anything bigger than our truck trying to fit and squeeze through that. And even if you have like a Class C or a fifth wheel or any type of trailer, and you missed that sign, there's nowhere to turn around up there. I mean, it's a straight one way direction. <laughs> yes, but that was just the first of several of those types yes. of tunnels. one called the Needles Eye mm. Tunnel and it was really long and there were sections where I was really convinced that the truck was going to scrape along the yeah. side of the walls there. It was close but before we went through it you, we, we stopped and we looked up and there is the Needles Eye so it's what it's known for is the Needles Eye not the tunnel necessarily so it's a really kind of a cool thing to see and then you have to wait until the cars stop coming one way for you then to hopefully be able to get through the other way. We got through, there was a bit of a line waiting to yeah, have their turn. It's definitely one way, but the, the needle's eye formation is cool. It looks exactly like what it is, a needle's eye. So it's a, it's a aptly named formation, yeah, but all, good. <laughs> all throughout Custer State Park, there are these needle-like formations, these little spires that are coming out of the ground jagged super interesting to look mm. at not like rock formations that i think i've seen no, elsewhere i think a bad description would be a bunch of stalactites but not really i mean it is just it, it looks like spires i mean i think that's a really good name for that <laughs> yes yes well and speaking of spires we did this hike in the park well I, I say we loosely and we'll get to that in a second we did this hike in the park that was really cool called cathedral spires and um, it was beautiful. It was like forest on one side, those needle rocks, those jagged rocks coming out of the, the um, side of the mountain on the other side. And I should say, because we neglected to mention it earlier, we did all of this with the dogs. It's Custer State Park is a dog friendly park, which I think makes it uh, advantageous over a, a national park in that way, in that you can bring the little furry friends along. but. In case you missed it in our last video about North Dakota, it'd be hot here. It's very hot. So um, we made it a little bit down the way on this hike. The dogs were panting pretty bad. I mean, it was morning. So was our son. He <laughs> yeah. was panting. It was more miles than the dogs that I think was complaining. I mean, we would make it like 10 steps and Miles would sit down. Miles's energy level today is very low. <laughs> he fell asleep on the car ride here, which hasn't happened since he was like a toddler. So it's slow going. So it's about a 2.6 mile hike there and back. And I don't know, we made it maybe a third of the way on the trail up 
and then we just decided listen it's gonna it's gonna be hours to do this trail because miles just wasn't up to it i mean he was stopping like i said just just constantly stopping sitting trying to motivate him to move along yeah it, it was rough and it felt for him completely so at that point we decided let's you know let's call it here uh, we have an entire lifetime to do these hikes <laughs> And uh, we decided, hey, why don't we bring Miles back? Amanda went back with Miles and then... To the car. Yes, to the we car. went back of course, to the car. To the car. And with the dogs. The dogs and Miles. And I decided, okay, let me at least get to the top so we have, we can actually... I can explain what's up there, you know? So one of us has uh, that view. It was wonderful up there. Probably not the best view in the world, we can see the spires up there, heading up there now. I don't know if you can see it in this shot, but on the far right spire, there's like two or three people on it, way at the top, rock climbing, mountain climbing. Uh, but it was hard. I'm not going to lie, uh, it was uh, uphill a lot, Some little bit of mountain, not climbing, but a lot of rocks to go over. Scrambling. Scrambling, yeah. Scrambling yes. is a good word for that. And, uh, you know, it, I, when I got back, I told Amanda it's not made for a man, a woman, or a child, except for the men, women, and children who were <laughs> out hiking me the entire time up there. I'm out of shape, man. Uh, so it <laughs> tells me I need to walk a lot more and, and get ready for this. Heavy breathing, heavy breathing, heavy breathing, heavy breathing. Heavy breathing. Oh, heavy breathing. I see our truck. This is good because that means the end of the hike is here and I can go rest uh, in the truck in air conditioning and then think about why I'm not as good a hiker as most children in South Dakota or the nation, perhaps. I don't know. There's a lot of kids up there. Dogs up there too. Um, so definitely doable, but you know, that's it. Um, I learned that it's really hard to hike with a gimbal in your hand when you're when you're scrambling on rocks. That was much harder to hike down holding a gimbal in your hand. Next time I'll use the backpack or Kimmy gimbal as it is named. Uh, so I'm not gonna do that again. Uh, <laughs> well, in fairness, I usually do most of the camera yeah. work too. So this was, this was a new experience for Derek. And on top of that, it is a hike that's rated strenuous. Yeah. It, and we saw that, we knew that going into it, but we thought, cause it was a short one, that we could handle the strenuous mm -hmm. with the dogs and the kids and the camera. But um, perhaps it was, perhaps we yeah. bit off more than we could chew. <laughs> and Amanda saw it in my face when I walked up to that truck she already had a hand holding a bottle of water coming over to me, <laughs> seeing that my body was now 1% water from that height. So it, it, <laughs> we had been enjoying the AC of the truck for some time by the time he made it back, let's just say that. And I will say, we originally were gonna do a different hike uh, or a, an additional hike um, called the Sunday Gulch um, Trail, but it was closed. <laughs> And that one is also strenuous, much, much longer, much more scrambling, some water that you have to go through. And I just think it's it's probably a blessing that it was closed. Yeah. And uh, But we, we, Derek and I, really want to come back sometime, minus child, mm -hmm. minus dogs, or, or when Miles is older, and um, really experience more of the hikes because that was pretty much our only hike that we got to do. And I could have spent days hiking oh, in totally. in Custer State totally. Park. <laughs> uh, this is, it's a great taste for Miles to have to be able to see some of these things now at this age and you know maybe he'll appreciate it one day who knows. <laughs> Let's hope fingers crossed. <laughs> if you watched our spring break videos then you know how much I love a quirky gas station convenience store and I love this one. It has such an old west feel and it's right next to our campground here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. I see you're wearing a buffalo shirt. I am wearing a buffalo shirt because we went to North Dakota, no buffalo. Or there was supposed to be buffalo, but no buffalo. So this is my, I'm just hoping we see a lot of buffalo. So I'm wearing this to get some good juju, some good vibes going. Fingers crossed for buffalo today. Yeah, buffalo wings crossed. Um, after the hike, we went and did the wilderness uh, loop, which is just a drive 
driving experience. Mm -hmm. I forget how long it is, but we were probably on it at least an hour, yeah. maybe more. Um, and for the first bit, we did not see any animals. Nothing. And I was thinking, okay, well, it is really hot. We might not see anything. But then we came through this, this area and I saw off in the distance some animals. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ooh, what are those? But we were too far away from just in the car to, to really see what they were. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people we saw walking through this field to go check them out. So we joined them. And what did we find? Burrows. Burrows. And the burrows at Custer State Park are super friendly and they are very accustomed to um, people visiting the park feeding them. Feeding them, petting them. It was a really fun experience for Miles. Um, some nice people gave him some wafers, vanilla wafers. Vanilla wafers. So we saw people carrying bags of apples, yeah. bags of carrots, all of that. I was like, awesome, great. People were feeding it to them, but somebody also had a box yeah. of vanilla wafers and was doling them out to everybody. Yeah, they rolled up with their leftover Girl Scout cookies <laughs> or something, but like, you got what you got hey, in your car. the burros loved it. I don't know if it's the healthiest thing for them, but hey, half the things I eat aren't that healthy for me, so mm. I guess I can't Dessert. judge. <laughs> Did his tongue touch you? No. <laughs> But it was a great experience. And then as we continued driving, we saw a few more animals. Mm -hmm. We saw um, some horses, some cows, all of that sort of normal stuff. But what we finally saw, the thing that we had been looking for the mm -hmm. whole time in North Dakota, we saw the bison. bison. We saw the buffalo that we have been wanting to see for so mm -hmm. long. So close to the end of our drive. Uh, giving up hope saying, hey, we're going to come back when it's morning or evening. Because when you buy a pass, the pass lasts for seven days. Seven days. That so is a can, good deal. Yeah, you can come back as often as you want. It was only like $24. 20 like $20, $20 even better for a seven-day pass. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to come back, but we didn't have to. We saw the bison there. It was a really great experience. Uh, a bunch of cars stopped. And I know they're walking around, laying down, rolling around. Anything that bison do, they were doing. And it <laughs> yes. made me very happy. You did it, babe. Your buffalo shirt worked. It did. We saw buffalo. <laughs> and now Brisket is sitting right in front of the AC vent. It's uh, practical and cute, but not very safe. So I'm going to move him. The next day, pretty much we just let Miles just lay like a potato mm -hmm. on the couch and do nothing and try to catch up on that sleepiness that he yeah. had. I took him out for some ice cream at a place in um, downtown Custer, which is a cute little town by where we're staying. You got custard and custard. <laughs> I think it was ice cream, mm -hmm. but you know, I can't really tell the difference between custard and ice cream. It opportunity if it wasn't custard. You know what? I think you're right. <laughs> what are they doing here? Why are they, why are they not capitalizing on the name of the town? Um, but isn't it custard? Oh, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, it was ice cream and pie mm -hmm. in Custer. And I found a restaurant called Mount Rushmore Brewing, and it is dog friendly. Yeah, yeah. The place that serves up grub was called the Pounding Fathers, and we love puns. Puns. Yes. Who could live without puns mm -hmm. in their life? Even some of the drinks had punny names. Mm -hmm. We're at Mount Rushmore Brewing Company. And I have to say, I like the clever names for the beer. Mine is a Ruther Fruit B Haze. And it tastes pretty good too, IPA. Um, but that's pretty much all we did and it paid off because yeah. the following day we went to the Badlands. And let me tell you, Miles's energy was restored, powered up, probably up to an 11. Yeah. He had energy to spare that day. So stay tuned to learn more about that and the rest of what we enjoy here in South Dakota. Little adventure.